Yo, yo, we here in this session, getting it a rock, getting hot, getting ready. How y'all feeling tonight? Who y'all best to be feeling great. Y'all best to be feeling gully. Y'all about to be feeling it. Yes, that LL Cool J. Woo! Can you dig it? Uh, yo, yo, I can't. Y'all can hear from like a little glance because I don't want to get it straight. It's probably going to copyright me no matter what. But I'm telling you, what we got going on right now, what's going on, this LL Cool J album, how y'all feeling today? How y'all feeling? Right now, that one is called Spirit of Cyrus. Y'all hear the little bit of it is, you know what I'm saying, Spirit of Cyrus, that one there, that one there is with Snoop Dogg, and uh, in that track, we got, I was expecting like uh, Snoop Dogg to, you know, go with a bar or something like that, but he didn't do it. He was just uh, the hook part of it. He didn't. He didn't really do a straight bar unless I missed it or something. I heard it twice. I didn't hear it consistently because I skipped it. Like, nah. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but I did skip it. But this is where you're gonna get the honest reviews. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, did you hear about Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre making a new album together? That's almost done. I don't know if that's like uh, you know, cloud. I don't know. Or, or they trying to freaking uh, gaslight us or. They just trying to get it for clout. I don't know what what's going on there. It's just it sounds crazy, because Dr. Dre been talking about the the chronic, the new one, and never came out. And then he came out with uh, you know that that the GTA stuff, and it was good. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that, man. We're here to talk about the LL Cool J album. Yo, I'm hyped. How about y'all? I'm excited, bro. I'm stoked. Because, I'll be honest with you, me, growing up, I liked LL, but not like that. Like, I didn't grow up to be like a diehard L. I think, after I started, like, getting really into women, trying to start, come out with my game and try to pick up females and stuff like that, I think that's when I started listening more to LL. But, like, growing up, I was more into uh, Nas, I was more, um, and, and, you know, Obviously, L was out before these cats, right? But I'm just saying, me and my age and where I was forming up to be who I became, uh, I was just listening more into DMX. I was listening more into Nas. I was listening more into uh, Mob Deep. Um, obviously, Fat Joe, you know what I'm saying? Big pun, but um, LL, it, like, I wasn't listening to him like that. And so I started listening to him later on in life. When I started already, like, experimenting, like I just say, experimenting with women and just getting my groove on, you know what I'm saying? And just learning how the women interact. Because let's be real, LL, you know what I'm saying? I always saw him like a movie star. Like, I always saw him like a better actor than a rapper at that time, right? And uh, let's be real, LL's a good-looking guy, no homo, right? He's a good-looking guy. He, he's... And from the interviews that I've seen from him and everything, he's a humble dude. I wish I could meet that guy one day in real life and just talk with him, have a drink with him, right? Maybe. Who knows? But nonetheless, um, the dude was great in acting. All With that show that he was with, uh, was it All in the House, right? And and also the movie, the everybody ran a Deep Blue Sea and all that. And other movies, you know what I'm saying, that he did. But um, I always saw him as a actor, and never like a real rapper, but then later in life, and I'm talking about later. I'm talking about remember when J Lo came out with Jenny from the Block, and uh, that album, and um, you know when she came out with that feature with L Cool J, that's when I started like listening to more of LL. Then I started going back to his old library and started catching up on that and doing it. Even though that song was already way out and it was it was already good, it was a hit. It just he wasn't catching my appeal for some reason, right? So then I started listening to his old catalog, and there you go. I started it was like, damn, what I've been missing? Damn, it was nice. He's nice. And uh, then you know I started listening to other stuff that he was doing. Um, you know I was uh, catching the stuff he did with Boys to Men, catching the stuff he did with Anne Marie. Obviously, the song he did with J Lo, um, and all of the music that he did for women, because 
no matter how many times people and and rappers and other people want to critique or diss a cat for making music for women, I'll be honest with you, it's true. When you make music for women, those women are the ones that's going to buy your stuff. They the ones, you know what I'm saying, that's going to push you to the next level. Men, you know, like we'll download, we'll, we'll catch it from our homies. Back then, we used to, you know, bootleg it, black market it, or just copy it, or just you know, something like that, you know? Um, but the women will go out their way to go to the stores, buy the CD, uh, you know, tell their homegirls, and those homegirls go and buy it, they buy the posters, they buy the shirts, they buy the merch, you know, come on, you be real, there ain't no damn chance in hell that a, a dude's gonna go out his way to buy a LL t-shirt like that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not saying... Nowadays, probably not, but at that time frame, society was very different, and I don't think, at least me living in it, I can speak for myself, there was no chance in hell I'm going to go out my way to buy an LL t-shirt or hat or whatever, you know, stuff that he had, merch, nah, nah, I wouldn't even buy the CDs, why would I buy the CDs, I would just copy it or download, and it's horrible, right, but we didn't think we were young, we were just trying, we didn't have money like that, so we were just trying to get whatever we can get. You know what I'm saying? But word of mouth goes across and, you know, these artists grow. And I think, you know, I've never been to an LL, uh, you know, live concert. I always wanted to go. Maybe one day before he retires, I'll make it out there. And, um, but I could talk for general artists as far as me supporting artists. I usually go to the concerts. I usually go to the events, the live events, and back then, when they used to have live events, they used to have their CDs and stuff like that. I definitely used to support all the time those artists when I used to do that. So, it's not like I didn't support, you know what I'm saying? I always did, somehow, one way or the other. Um, but besides that, man, LL was doing some great stuff, man. Um, I ain't trying to go on a long journey here and, and talk about my story and everything. Or maybe I am. But nonetheless, we're here to review LL's newest album. And this album, man, I'll tell you what, guys. I already listened to it from work to my car, to my car, to the shower, to the shower, to the cooking. I mean, I've been jamming. There are only 15 tracks on this album. And, um... I've been listening to it all day, and I promise you when I wake up tomorrow and take another ride to work in the morning, I'm definitely going to be jamming to it again. I'm not disappointed. But we're going to talk about each individual song real quick and what songs I think is the banger and what songs I feel uh, was great in certain aspects, could have been better, whatever the case is. I can't play too much of it because you know they're going to black list me or something i don't want them to cut my youtube channel i'm not doing anything harsh i'm not even getting money in this channel i'm just doing it as a way to let you know my words out to be able to communicate with anybody and just feel like it's a therapy session just happy man because i love to i love music and if you guys see any of my other videos you know i love trying different beers um so this is all that is, man. It's just a hobby. It's just activity to express myself. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't really get anything from here. You know, if people buy my merch, cool. Then, you know, that's a different thing. I'm trying to gain 500 followers so then I can be able to put merch in the bottom of this channel and, and, and list that banner and people could, you know, help out. That would be great. Put thumbs up. Subscribe, spread the word, help me out. You know what I'm saying? Let's check the next jam. It's called, the next jam is called Saturday Night Special. I'm interested to know what the special is really about. What is, what is the special really about? You know what I'm saying? Let's see what really about. Not black holes. Saturday night special. Let's see what this is about. Oh, okay. Let's fast forward. 
That beat is nice. That beat goes good. His rhymes is good. But I feel like I can't. I gotta talk over it. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta talk over it. I don't really want to. I got to because they're gonna blacklist me. All right, you hear that real quick. What y'all think about that? So that track right there is called Sad Night Special. That one has a great, uh, smooth, laid back tone. You know, he's speaking his mind. That beat is nice. I, now that I'm listening to it the third time, I'm like, damn, I like the beat a lot better than when I first heard it. Because when I first heard it, I was just like, ah, uh, uh, let me just skip over it real quick. And then when the second time I heard it, I was like, oh, it's not bad, but nah, it's not my thing. The third time I'm listening to it, I'm like, damn, okay, it's pretty good. Uh, as far as, you know, the beat and his smooth uh, deliverance. But I think that people think about the OLL. And they think they want like some lovey stuff, or maybe they may think some hype stuff. Cause he, you know, remember when he said head sprung, do do do, head sprung, some hype stuff. And I think this album is a, I think it's going more of his original style. I don't know if that's gonna be a blessing or damage. I don't know. I hope it's a blessing, man. Cause LL deserves everything he got and more, right? And um, nonetheless. Nine night special that was not bad. Let's get to the next track. Let's get to the next track. Alright. That one's called Black Coat Sweet. Let's fast forward. So this is uh more of like a smooth track by himself. He don't got no features in this. I hope I don't get blocked, man. Which I know I'm gonna get blocked. I've already let it play too long. Yeah. That one, that black coat sweep. Yeah, I could skip that anytime. That's not. That's not impressive at all. Um, but we're not gonna hit all great tracks in each album, right? That would be great, man. If we could do that. This one's called Passion. L. L. By himself again, right? Oh, wait. I did like this one. Passion. I think that he was doing good with the rhymes and the beat. It was original beat. It's nothing like copy. To, I don't know. Something like kind of like relaxing. It sounds like some... Like a moment therapy or something. Or like one of those elevators. He's doing great, though. Yeah, uh, yo, his rhymes is nice. I can't hate that one's called Passion. That one, that was the first one that I started liking in the album. I was like, okay, okay, I could, I could dig this. If, if the other songs was crappy, I could have enjoyed this one. I could have went back to the album to just listen to this one. And he made a video, music video to it too. I didn't know he had any of these videos. Um, I just start noticing and learning stuff now, you know, and um, I didn't mind it, man. It was pretty good. Passion, yes, sir. Oh, this one's another one I like. Pro Liberties. That beat, man. That was that's one of my favorite on this album. And let me let you know, guys, on the one, the other album, the other two songs we heard ago, that album, though, that, that album, that track right there, that beat, that reminds me of something I just can't remember, but it's speaking from a game or from a, another song. I'm just trying to think. That beat is fire, though. But we heard not too long ago two other songs back. And uh, and and that one had Rick Ross and Fat Joe in it, which it was great. That song was good, but I don't know. It's like I liked it when it started getting to Rick Ross and Fat Joe's part, but um, I feel like uh, I don't know. L -L was like I, I don't know if he was in his out of the mode or out of the tempo. I just feel like it didn't fit him. 
But, you know, it is what it is. Not everything's going to be a hit. I didn't like that one. Even though the Fat Joe and Rick Ross were the features, which I love Fat Joe. I love Rick Ross, but I just, I don't know. I didn't feel that track. This one right here, Pro, I don't even know how to say the word correctly. Look at that. It sounds crazy. Pro Clivites. I don't know. I'm saying I'm butchering. I don't even know how to say it. Anyway, this is uh, with Saudi. And LL, so all these, this chick that he, I guess he's putting on, I never heard of her. And uh, she sounds straight. She sounds straight. New, new chicks. For me, though, women rapping, they don't they don't get me. Unless it's like a Remy Ma, because Remy Ma sounds different. But to me, all the other women, they all sound the same. I don't know, like, every women rapper to me. And, and I'm not trying to do it as a diss or nothing like that. I'm just, me personally, I just think that these women rappers... They all sound the same. I'm talking about Nicki Minaj, Cardi B. I'm talking about all of them. And even when you hear the uh, Spanish women rap too, the only one that sounded different was Evie Queen. And now you got a bunch of other women that's trying to rap. They sound the same. You know, in Spanish too. It's not just in, in English. Uh, but some people can say well, men can sound the same too, right? Because you're putting them as a group. No. Because you know Buster Ryan don't sound nothing like DMX. You know DMX don't sound nothing like 50 Cent. You know 50 Cent don't sound nothing like LL Cool J. Everybody sounds different. I think the men all have their own unique character. They all sound very different. Women, I don't know. I think they try too hard and they sound the same. Anyway, that's beyond the topic there. Let's go to the next track. Postmodern. Postmodern was a good track right here, too. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're How Ridiculous, three childhood friends and digital mm. content creators that do epic stuff from Perth, Australia. I'm doing weights over here, lifting oh, no. weights, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're in the billions of views. Hey, we're But, you know, let's fast forward this, Pops. Because, you know, there's a lot of commercials trying to come through. There's a lot of crazy ads. But, nonetheless, guys, my ad here. It support Arc Radio, Facebook.com forward slash Arc Radio 1. Help a brother out. Buy some t shirts. Buy some glasses. Um, what else can I say, man? Show the love to Arc Radio. We got B reviews coming up, but we're coming back to the album reviews. I'm trying it again, man. I'm scared because I feel like they're going to block me and cancel me. That's the last thing that I want to happen. You get what I'm saying? You feel me? Um, but yeah, this is LL right here. This album came out of nowhere. So I have satellite radio, and I have uh, LL's. I'll be listening to LL's uh, radio station, Rock the Bell Radio. And uh, yesterday he said, "Oh, LL's come album coming out tomorrow." I was like, "What the heck?" And I looked it up, and surely enough, it was there. <laughs> what a crazy turn of events! Let's go! Let's go! Post modern as L alone, he's not featuring him. It sounds like an old school, like Rock the Bells, kind of like old school days. Oh, the, the bridge is over, like like those days, you know what I'm saying? Like KRS One days. And I don't know if you, all you guys was around those days, but those days was different type of rap, but it was still good. I like this one too. I ain't gonna lie. Let's see, 30 Decembers. 30 Decembers, that sounds crazy. 30 Decembers. I wonder what was the reason for that title. Oh. That one's good too, man. I'm listening to now, I'm like, that. I could... Joy, 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 Joy. Alright. It gets better though. Like, the album starts slow and it keeps growing, 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 growing and just getting better and better and better. I'm like, that's crazy. How the hell did he did that? Did he did that intentional? For me, I felt like it just kept growing, 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 get it better. This one's, uh, Reunite. Oh, Run It Black. Oh, Run It Back. <laughs> run It Back. Ah, uh, it's, uh, nah. 
That's not all oh, that. That's tribal. This one's called Who in the Chair? Who in the Chair? Who in the Chair, Pops? LL featuring Busta Rhymes. Oh, all right. What, what's it, Busta about? I'm fast forward because I ain't trying to get a cut. But you hear the beats, you hear the rhymes for the most part. And if you want more, make sure you go and download his album, Support. I ain't trying to give his album for free like that, but I'm trying to hype it up and let you guys know. It's some good stuff. You ain't going to regret it if you're an LL fan. Vasqua Energy. That's LL by himself. Ah. Uh, that's good energy. Ah, uh, that's not the best thing. This one right here. Praise him. LL featuring Nas. That's great, bro. It is crazy, this one. It starts like a, like a jungle rhythm, like, a, you know, drums and... I don't know. And then Nas comes in, he just destroys it, bro. I don't know. Praise him. Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, snap. I can't go that crazy. And then, this one's called Murder Graham Dukes. And what a odd pair here. Who expected this to come out? Oh, 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 Eminem, LL feature Eminem, oh my god, they, I never saw that tag team come or ever expected that to happen, that shit blew my mind, bro, oh, 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 you gotta listen to that one, bro, you gotta listen to that track, you won't be disappointed, I promise you guys, and then the last one, but not least, you know what I'm saying? It's called The Vow. The Vow. And that one is pretty dope. It's got some, uh, it got different artists that I've never heard of that he has featured on it. But it goes hard, man. Like, as far as lyrics wise and the beat, it goes great. You want hard? You're going to get hard. Hard rhymes, hard beats. Yeah, guys, that is a weight. I'm working it out, bro. I'm working that gut right here. That's what I'm working out. Back into the gym I go because God knows, man, this beer is going to blow me up. I got to keep it going, man. I got to keep it going. Back to the gym. Hard body, man. So, guys, the vow, I'm not going to play it right now uh, because I want you to keep exploring. But the vow is the last track on that album. And I'll let you know one thing, guys. This album... By far, from L, I didn't expect it to be that great. And when I end this session right here, we're going to keep it going, man. We're going to keep it going with the music. Me, personally, I'm going to just chill, go do what I got to do. And um, all I got to say is that this album, The Force, by LL Cool J, this is his 14th album. Really good. Really good. And uh, go pick it up. Download it. Up with it out, and uh, let's see, man. I'm waiting for 15. LO cannot retire until it's an even number, right? 15 is that even? I think that's even for me. Yeah. 14 don't sounds off, and um, who would have known the dude still around making tracks and making music, entertaining us as fans? And I'm not marking out, I'm just being honest and real. What a great time to be. A hip hop fan and music lover. We got Eminem's that dropped earlier. We got Nas was dropping bangers. We got LL coming out with his stuff. What else is gonna happen? I'm ready for more. But until then, we're gonna be jamming to some LL Cool J, baby. I think so. I think it's a great time. Let's go, guys. Oh yeah. Oh, it's ads. It's always ads, bro. Always ads keep coming. I'm trying to change this here. But you know, a guy, man, he don't want to be 
pay for ad free crap. Ad free crap, not me, guy, not me, my guy. Anyway, we're gonna go and just see what got what we got going on. See you later, guys. That's the vow right there. Oh, oh, yo, deuces, my kids, my niggas and niggerettes, my dudes, my peeps, my arc heads. One love all the time. Deuces, pieces, my dudes.